Hello students, myself uh, Ganesh B. Aglave, working as an assistant professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchen Institute of Technology, Solapur. In this session of IC Engine, we will see the classification. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to identify the different types of the engines. Now, we will start studying the classification of engines. So, classification of engine. Classification of IC engine. Now, first classification. First classification, the engines are classified on type of the fuel. Type of fuel. As we know, uh, in the uh, society, uh, only two types of the engines for fa passenger vehicles were using. So first is called uh, first is called petrol engine, petrol engine, and second one is the diesel engine. Is the diesel engine <coughs> for petrol engine? We are using the spark plug. We are using the spark plug. So, these engines are also called the SI engine, spark ignition engines. And for diesel engines, the injector is used. But remember, uh, in BS6 norms, we are not going to use now the spark plug. These spark plugs are replaced with the injector, with the injector to satisfy the BS6 norms. Then, second type of the engine is depending upon the type of the stroke so either two stroke engine two stroke engine or four stroke engine or four stroke engine so what is the difference between two stroke engine and four stroke engine in these uh, two stroke engines the ports are used Whereas, in the four stroke engines, the walls are used, the walls are used. But another main difference is here, in the two stroke engines, the crankshaft which develops the power, it rotates by one revolution, the crankshaft rotates by one revolution. Means one revolution is required for completion of four strokes. Which are those four strokes? First is the suction stroke, compression stroke, expansion or power stroke and exhaust stroke. To have these uh, four strokes in the two stroke engine, the crankshaft takes one revolution. Means what? In one revolution, there is one power stroke, one power stroke. So when we will see the indicated power. We will see indicated power. In that formula, we are going to consider n is equal to n. Okay? Now, in the four stroke engines, the crankshaft rotates by two revolutions. This is the first revolution if this is the reference line. So, this is suppose suction stroke, this is the compression stroke later is the expansion or power stroke followed by the exhaust stroke. So, two revolutions, in two revolutions we are getting only one power stroke. So, for this indicated power, for four stroke engines to calculate the indicated power, the n is considered as n by 2 that you have to remember. Now, as in one revolution, one power stroke is there, so for two stroke engines are more powerful than the four stroke engine. Whereas, four stroke engines mileage is better than two stroke engines. Now, in recent BS6 norms, as injector is used, so what is done? Uh, by modifying the engines, we got more power and more mileage also. So, they are uh, advertising that 15 percent more mileage the same vehicle is giving. Next type of the classification is the types of cylinders depending upon types of cylinders either engine will be single cylinder engine, 
सिंगल सिलेंडर यूजिंग सो यू ऑब्जर्व मोस्ट ऑफ द टू व्हीलर्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टू व्हीलर्स अप टू थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सी सी कैपेसिटी आर एडोप्टिंग आर यूजिंग द सिंगल सिलेंडर द सिंगल सिलेंडर एंड सेकेंड इज द मल्टी सिलेंडर मल्टी सिलेंडर सो हाउ टू पुट दीज मल्टी सिलेंडर्स मल्टी सिलेंडर्स मीन्स मोर दैन वन सो either inline engines also we can put inline engines means on same uh, crankshaft the multiple cylinders are mounted multiple cylinders are mounted so suppose the firing order is 1 4 2 3 then first and fourth cylinder are fired second and third are fired after that after that so this is the connecting rod for first and fourth then for second and third for second and third these are the connecting rods and this is the single crank uh, crankshaft this is the single crankshaft single crankshaft so it depends upon the firing order here the firing order as i told is 1 4 2 3 so Uh, you think or for the firing order one three two four, and try to draw such type of the line diagram. Okay, so these are called multi-cylinder engines. Now, multi-cylinder inline engines are uh, perfectly balanced engines. Okay. Now, after this, after this next type of the engine is a radial engine. So, point number D is the radial engine. while designing if the engineer founds that there is a limited space is available and the power requirement is very large then what you can do circular you can put the cylinders along this pcd you could put the cylinder whose crank is this one this is the crankshaft and this is the crank so suppose this is the first connecting rod this is the second this is the third this is fourth fifth and so on so what i can do now i can have this cylinder mounted over here this is the second cylinder this one third cylinder this is fourth cylinder this is fifth cylinder this is sixth cylinder in the aeropress uh, uh, aeroplane in the aeroplane uh, there is a limited space available so instead of making such type of uh, inline engines okay circularly i can have the number of cylinders over there where i will be getting the power on single crankshaft okay so the pistons will be like this on the radial engines okay so you could increase number up to 16 22 etc hmm? then next type of the engine is next type of the engine is opposed opposed piston engine so here the pistons are kept facing each other this is the piston left hand side this is the right hand side piston and they will have their own connecting rod this is the left hand side crank this is the right hand side crank okay as the pistons are opposite to each other this is called opposed piston engine we could get power on the left hand side crankshaft and the another power power at right hand side crankshaft means single cylinder could be used for sep Separate applications. This may drive the generator. Suppose this may drive. Suppose the belt, flat belt. So uh, two different uh, applications could be fulfilled by this opposed piston engine. Okay. Yeah. Next type is opposed cylinder. Opposed cylinder type of the engine. Here. 
this is the left hand piston this is the right hand piston and this is the cylinder opposed cylinder okay this is the connecting rod of the left hand side this is the connecting rod of the right hand side piston and this is the crank this is the crank so it will rotate in the clockwise direction and this piston will reciprocate here here so to get the maximum power to get maximum power from single cylinder you can go for opposed cylinder type of the engine so these are uh, all about the classification of engine for more study uh, you could go for internal combustion engines by hn gupta thank you